booktube i hope you're reading all the bookish things if you guys will learn anything about me throughout all of my youtube videos it will be that i love special stuff and with that i love special editions of books i love collector's editions signed editions exclusive editions i love anything that the publisher goes out of their way to include something special and a book and so today i just wanted to show you guys my special edition book collection the first special edition book i have is simon vs the homo sapiens agenda if you've read this book you know that our main character simon who writes emails to an anonymous person blue and so in this collector's edition we have the very first simon blue emails that is very cool next we have the movie set scrapbook which is black and white images throwback black and white images of the movie set if you have not watched the movie, it was one of the better YA book to movie adaptations. And then we have an interview with Becky Albertelli, Adam Severa, and Angie Thomas. With interviews, I always hope they talk about writing, because I am an aspiring writer, and so I always want to get better at my craft, but I don't think they talked about writing in this interview. I think they talked about, like, friendship and Oreos. And then, of course, we have a sneak peek at the upside of Unrequited. Going right down my bookshelf, the next exclusive collector's edition I have is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. First of all, this is a gorgeous collector's edition. The only problem is I haven't been able to get the sticker off, which I'm really super mad at but it has exclusive fan art that I just love. And it also has a coffee mug with cat on it, which I think is very, very cool. And in the back, it has a Q&A with Rainbow Rowell. No, it has a Q&A with LeBron James. No, it has a Q&A with Rainbow Rowell. And she does talk a little about literature and writing, so that's always great. And then she has a sneak peek of Carrie, which I'm really, really excited to read and don't know why I haven't gotten yet. Next exclusive collector's edition I have is also a Rainbow Rowell one, and it's Eleanor and Potter. If you guys are wondering, I do get these collector's editions after I've read the book and I've loved it. The only time I haven't actually done that is with the book thief, but I know I'm going to love it. This one has amazing fan art. The fan art in these collector's editions are just so well picked. In the Q&A, Rainbow Rowell even talks about her process of picking through these fan arts, because obviously these books are so, so popular and there are probably thousands of fan-made arts out there, right? She talks about the process and about meeting the artist, so that is really, really cool. At the back, it of course has the author Q&A. This one is actually a signed edition, and that is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Yeah, I got a signed copy of this book, and I love it so, so much. A lot of times with signed copies, it doesn't look like the author wrote on it. It's just a scribble, and it, it doesn't look like anything. But here you can actually see the Angie, and you can see the last name. So I really appreciate Angie Thomas for that brilliant banger signature. The next collector's edition I have is actually one that came out a few weeks ago. And that is the On The Come Up exclusive collector's edition. I got this one because it has an excerpt of Concrete Rose, which I am super excited for. But in the back, this one just has so, so much. It has a letter from Angie Thomas to the reader. By the way, I loved On The Come Up so much. Angie Thomas writes amazing characters and family. And although I don't think she will ever have as much popularity with her books as she did with The Hate You Give, this was definitely a very, very good second book. We have these nice illustrated pages that just have quotes on them. We have exclusive deleted scenes. We have a writing playlist and our top five MCs, which I personally don't very much care about, but those music junkies and people that just love music way more than I do will definitely appreciate that part of it. And finally, this one has an annotated song. When you read On The Come Up, at the very end, Bree sings this song that is just so, so good. I was singing in my head and the beat is just amazing. Angie Thomas should actually be a rapper. The next exclusive edition I have, which I talked about before, is the Book Thief exclusive edition. This one just stands out on my bookshelf. It is so huge compared to my other books. I don't know why I didn't expect it because when I checked this out from the library, it was still a very big book. Nonetheless, it has a signature that looks like scribbles. I'm scared to go to the back to show the exclusive stuff. Because again, I haven't read this book, so I don't want to spoil my stuff. No spoil, no spoilers, no spoil. All right. The publisher went all out for this edition. First of all, it has a beautiful cover. And for the exclusive stuff, we have an introduction, first ideas, pictures from his writing journals. He shows us throughout the entire process of writing this book. And then at the back, we of course have a Q&A. The next exclusive edition I have is my favorite by far, and that is the Looking for Alaska exclusive collector's edition. The only problem with this one is that it is inside, but other than that, it's just completely perfect. First of all, it has some beautiful front and end pages. It has the labyrinth, and then it has quotes inside of it. On the front, it has, I go to seek a great perhaps. And on the back, it says, how will I ever get out of this labyrinth? And then it has an introduction, deleted scene, John Green's writing process throughout writing this book. And then at the back, a very, 
very extensive Q&A that does talk about writing and talks about just everything I wanted from a Q&A. And I just love this collector's edition so much. The next book I have is a signed copy, which I actually didn't order as a signed copy, but miraculously got it signed at last year's book con And that is For Everyone by Jason Reynolds. The story of how it got it signed is very, very long and extensive. So I won't talk about it here, but I will leave a link to it in the description. But yes, it got signed by Jason Reynolds in person. Oh my god. The next collector's edition I have isn't really one. I didn't even know it was collector's edition going in, but it does have some special stuff. And that is this beautiful copy of Shadow and Bone. Leave in the comments below if you need to read this book to get to Six of Crows. Because that's really the only reason I'm reading this book. Is because she wrote it before she wrote the Six of Crows duology. So I don't know if I should read this book before I read that. But on the back it has exclusive letters. Which I don't know what they mean. Because I obviously haven't read the book. But they look really cool. Then there's a Q&A. And then finally there's a sneak peek at the next book. The next book I'm going to talk about is Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. They included so much exclusive stuff in this book to just make it look bigger it's a very short book you could even call it a novella kind of they just added all of this exclusive stuff just to make it look a little bit big but this one has an introduction by Neil Gaiman himself has essays from Ray Bradbury and also people who are critiquing and just talking about his work just a lot a lot of essays on Fahrenheit 451. And it's the exact same thing with The Lord of the Flies by William Golding. They just have a lot of essays on this book about its history, about what it talks about, just stuff like that. And then it also has something I particularly love. I know this is a very hot topic on booktube, but it has deckled edges. Do you see their deckled glory? They're deckled. I love deckled books. So yeah, those are all my exclusive collector's editions of books. I made this video to just show you guys my book collection. I'm really proud of it. And I just love sharing and talking about books, obviously, because I started a booktube channel. In the comments below, tell me about some of the special editions you guys have. And if you guys are fans of book consumers, I know it's very, very debated. You don't need to own books to be a book lover or a very popular booktube, as Redwood Cindy has shown us. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, but more importantly, leave a comment. Subscribe for frequent videos on this channel, and I will see you next time with another video. Bye!